it is hot in Texas, and I mean hot. But I'm gonna talk to you about Peak Design. Let's get started. So for months, I kept an eye on this, but I wasn't really willing to spend $60, $70 to actually buy this. You may be wondering what it is. Well, it's actually now one of the best accessories I have for photography. This, along with this. These two have been probably the best thing in quite a while for photography. When it comes to hiking, bringing your camera, uh, weddings, pretty much anywhere that you're carrying your back, carrying a backpack with you or carrying some luggage and you need somewhere to actually put your camera. I've actually seen a few through hikers use this. That looks pretty awesome. So I first, I first started looking at this because I loved hiking and along with hiking, I also love bringing my camera so I can take some good photos. I post some of them on my Instagram, so you guys can follow me, a link down below. Now, I first started with this. I did not want to spend the money, but I decided, hey, you know what? Sometimes I miss those pictures, I'm trying to grab my backpack, take the camera out, or I also had the strap, the Canon strap, and it would kind of hang low with a heavy lens, and it really kind of started digging into my neck, so it got really annoying. I did not want to keep doing that, so I decided I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spend the money, I'm gonna go get this, the Peak Designs Clip. Well, was it good? Oh yeah. By the way, this is not, not alcohol. Definitely not. So I went and I bought it, spent the money. And it's pretty simple actually. There's two wheels that you unscrew. Then one side flips up. You put it on your camera strap, bring it down, tighten it right on your camera strap. This actually comes with several things. So it comes with a few different or a few extra pieces like this. I'll show you what that is. There's an extra one here. I have two already on my, my camera. It also comes with one of these little attachments. So you can actually use this to attach it directly to your camera if you wanted to. It comes with a few extra screws. Now these screws are actually in case you don't want to do it by hand. So there are sometimes when I'm actually using this on my 511 bag and it feels like it's pretty tight. So I got to really squeeze it on there. These extra screws are actually just a tad, just a tad bit taller. So I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just a tad bit taller so you can actually have a little more room for that. Uh, backpack strap. It does fit in the same way. The big difference is these are by hand. These are by the Allen wrench, are tightened by the Allen wrench that they actually give you. So, so if you're actually going to pretty much leave this on that one bag, this is perfect. That's what I would go with because every once in a while I actually do switch it. So I actually left the hand tightening, uh, the hand tighten screw on there, and I will. Uh, I do notice it does come come loose a little bit. So every once in a while, I will actually every time I use it, I tighten it up just a little bit. So eventually, I might decide to just keep it on one backpack or maybe buy another and actually use these. So that's what these are for, the extra screws. Now, you might be wondering, it looks too small. Will it work with my my backpack? Well. Typically, I use it with this bag here. This is actually a Camelback, and it's got a pretty wide strap, but very thin. So it fits on there perfectly, no problem. I actually like to keep it fairly low so I can easily kind of grab my camera and put it back on. I have also put it on, I've also put it on my 511. 511, in case you don't, you don't know, actually has a very, very wide, very thick padded strap. So 
putting this on here is a little rough. It's a little tight, but I could do it. I can actually get it on there and I can tighten it up pretty good. So if I were to actually only use this backpack, I definitely would want to use the bigger screws. Uh, but I like switching it back and forth, so I'm going to keep using these. So yes, it will fit on the 511 wide, thick, padded, what they call yoke backpack straps. So I use this on the Grand Canyon. I use this pretty much everywhere. I've gone the last six months. I was gonna do an unboxing, but the unboxing was actually kind of simple. It really didn't have much in it. It had this little pouch with these extra pieces that I've shown you. <clears throat> I used it for a while and it was great. I loved it. However, I wasn't 100% sure I could trust it yet. So I actually started using the camera strap around my neck as well as this. I didn't like the feeling so much, so I decided, hey, you know what? Maybe I don't want to use this camera strap. Maybe I want to just use the clip. But then again, sometimes I wanted to use a camera strap. So I took the camera strap off my camera and it became kind of annoying because I was holding it up. It was rather annoying. I actually wanted to sometimes just put it on my camera strap. So after about three months of using it just like this with the regular Canon camera strap, I decided let me look into their camera straps and see what they have. While well, I found the Peak Designs camera strap, or they call it the slide. This is the full size one. Um, I went with the full size because I do a lot of hiking, so I wanted to be able to kind of use this and it has extra padding on this one. They have different versions of this, but this is the one I went with. <clears throat> it does have a little bit of a plastic or a grippy material here, so it doesn't slide around too much on your shirt or jacket, whatever you have. It does have an easy way of sliding these back and forth, hence the slide. So you can tighten it, you can loosen it. I've actually used this in the rain um, and I had to actually conceal or actually hide my camera from the rain and well it came in handy because normally I like to leave these pretty far out however when I actually use this I had to really lower them up because I had to hide the camera from the rain inside my jacket so I had to shorten them up and it was quick simple easy not a problem I actually really 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 love this setup it's been the best thing for a while. So a few great things about the actual clip to start with is there is a lock. So this thing here, uh, when you have the camera on you there, you can actually push this and pull the camera right off. Or you can actually lock it by turning this forward. And when you do that, the camera actually gets locked in there. So it's not coming out. You can actually lock it and release it. So when it's, when it's released, you can push it and the camera pulls right out. When you don't want that to happen, if you're going on a really rough hike or hitting a, a really rough road, lock it. Here's why I really love this. The piece that actually slides in here, it's a little different from most things. However, it does fit into an Arca Swiss plate. So you can actually take this, attach the Peak Designs plate on your camera, and it's very easy, it comes in there, uh, just one screw. You can actually take that same plate and use it for your tripods. So you can easily, when I'm hiking, I can easily take it, take my camera off, and set it on my tripod, and I'm ready to go, I'm ready to take a picture. The best thing I also found I can actually take my flexible gorilla pod and I can actually modify it just a bit by adding one thing. This is a close up of the Joby. I'll link this piece below. I actually ordered it on Amazon and it works perfectly. So I actually took this and attached the Joby piece. The back piece broke off, but I attached the Joby piece to this plate, which will work with Arca Swiss. And all I did was slide it in, and that's it. Now my camera will actually attach to this Gorillapod, my tripod, or 
my camera strap all with one plate. I don't have to change plates. That is the best part. I have not taken the plate off my camera since I got these things. It's just lived on that plate. It's perfect. If you do any outdoors with your DSLR or your mirrorless camera, it's a must. So yes, they're a little pricey, but I definitely, definitely love the Peak Designs clip and the Peak Designs strap. Slide. Slide strap. This thing. Anyways, like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.